Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. And I was gonna say welcome to yet another tea talk. However, it is not a tea talk. This is something completely different. And uh, so what had happened was I was looking at my YouTube stuff and I got a notification from Siren, who I am subscribed to on pretty much everything. Uh, she'd recently posted a video, I guess this past week, where she decided to do a video of her drawing in real time for 15 minutes and seeing basically what she could draw in 15 minutes. And she titled that video, The 15 Minute Challenge and extended uh, that challenge to her followers and her viewers and their subscribers and all that stuff. And I being one of them decided to <laughs> take up the torch and you know, I can't resist a drawing challenge. Uh, and I decided to do it and it's kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. It's it, it was in hers turned out really nice. I don't know how mine turned out. I think I got a lot of like I got a good foundation in like it for a cleaner type of piece, but um it's very messy and kind of embarrassing and I was a little hesitant to do this and I'm like maybe I'll re-record and do another one. This is my first shot doing it and you know what? I decided, hey, that's kind of dishonest of me and uh, so I'm just gonna do the one that I did in the first shot, which is this one. So this is the first and only time I've done this. Um, but anyway, Siren did it uh, and I'm going to be linking that video below. But yeah, she's definitely an artist worth following and one that I've looked up to for quite some time. Um, so yeah, what's going on in this right now? Uh, so, oh, yes, that's right. I am planning on doing a video where I discuss my process in detail um, for portrait painting, actually. And so I'm still in the middle of recording the actual video for that, so it's not fully painted yet. It's almost done. Um, and I have posted a work in progress on my Twitter and on my Instagram. Again, the links are below. Look at me, like, same shameless self-promotion over here. Uh, pimp <laughs> Was I gonna say pimping myself out? I guess that's what this is. You gotta hustle, right? Uh, maybe that's something I'll do a video on in the future for my tea talks. Uh, but yes, so this is, I guess, me drawing in live time and maybe you can learn something from my process, my silly, silly process. Um, because I know when it's sped up, I do show my full screen. So you see all my settings, you see everything that's going into it. Uh, unless I've like accidentally forgotten, like, I think in my last video I forgot to record a little portion, uh, but it was kind of boring anyway and I don't think there was much being done, so anyway. Yeah, so right about now you should be seeing me starting to paint over the sketch. So what happens usually when I draw something is I open a new canvas, I throw down a color, usually like a muted kind of brown, browny gray, because I don't like to work on white. I don't know what it is. Um, when I'm doing oil painting, I always like prime my canvas with uh, like a, what's it called? Mm, what's the name of it? Uh, something ochre. Uh, brown ochre. I, I forget. Oh, it's been a while since I painted in oil paint. I do a very thin layer of like a different color just so I can have a base and have that shine through where the other colors, maybe I've missed a spot or whatever. So that's why I do that. Oh, see, you know, I'm giving away all my secrets in this video, but I will be giving away so many more secrets in a future video where, again, I'm talking about my portrait painting process. So anyway, I go ahead and do, I do that. And then I do very loose, very messy, so messy, it's embarrassingly messy, uh, sketch. And then I throw some colors down on a layer underneath that, but above the background layer. And again, just look at my layers. You can see them right now, I think. And then what I do is I change that sketch slash line art color. I'm gonna call that my line art because those are the only like foundation lines I actually have or whatever. Uh, and I change the color of that and I usually lower the opacity to throw an overlay over it, usually some sort of brown or whatever, just for consistency. And because I kind of like the yellowy brown look on my art, I don't always do it, but I do it more often than not. And then after all that's done, uh, I go in and I start painting over it. And it's very embarrassing, actually, this one. I have her kind of cross-eyed and... Not really good lighting. Um, to be honest, I was panicking. All right, let's let me... <laughs> I'll admit it. I was, I was panicking quite a lot. Um, 
and I actually reconsidered like I'm like maybe if I try and do this video again I can actually do it a little bit better and I'm not panicking as much but I decided let's let's give it some realness here let's show how I am in my panic state trying to draw and see <laughs> see how I suffer in those 15 minutes and I kept looking down at the clock um, I timed it on my phone I figured that was the easiest thing I considered like down like going through the motions of downloading a timer so you can see it in the upper corner or whatever but I'm like nah nah you can always check the timestamp in the lower right hand corner so I had to I almost had to look at my hands to find out which was right and left do you ever do that do you ever forget that like you know what it is but you second guess yourself and then so you want to look down at your hands to double check because there's this trick if you if you're not familiar with it but like if you have your hands out, palms facing outward away from you, and you look at the index, your index finger and your thumb. Oh my god, see, I can't even think. I didn't even know what a thumb was called. I'm so embarrassing. This this whole video is <laughs> terribly embarrassing. Watch my other ones. I'm a little bit better. A little less, like, all over the place. Um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, if you look at your index finger and your thumb and, like, whichever one whichever hand makes the L that's your left and you know I'm an adult I know my right for my left <laughs> like I, but you know you forget I forget I'm a very forgetful person um but yeah I'm just kind of killing time for 15 minutes I figured like I wanted to start and introduce this and I'm like maybe I'll leave it to silence and have music in the background or something and then I'm like oh that's kind of weird uh so you can just mm hear me talking about whatever and trying to explain this as it happens so I'm trying to kind of put some light in I usually make a mistake when I do the nose where I make like the entire nose very dark when in fact like on the nose the darkest really dark points are just the nostrils and then the rest are usually kind of like a mid-tone or lighter than that so I have to correct that. If you notice, almost in every single one of my videos, I'm having to like airbrush over the nose to put a mid-tone down, so yeah, uh, but that's it. I could have gone crazy on the hair. I decided to get the face down. Um, looking at it now, the eyes are really asymmetrical. I shouldn't be picking it apart like this, but since it's right in front of me, I'm kind of looking at the decisions I made and how I would have done it differently if I wasn't like all jumpy and stuff because of a timer uh, but yeah yeah the way I see it though is like this is a, a decent foundation for um, something a bit more clean I wouldn't post the end results of this um, like on my social media even um, because it's just that rough but if you like to see rough work then you can see that um, I do post a lot of work though on my social media, on Instagram, especially on Twitter. Like when I post things, the first place I go is Twitter. That's my favorite. Um, I love. And then I'm kind of fixing up the background color because there's not enough contrast, and I usually always do that. I kind of like there to be a pretty heavy contrast between the background and the character, and yeah, I don't know. I think the for the most part though, like. I would say that the way I would move forward like from this point on um, if I was to finish this piece would be uh, blending everything out, rendering, because that, to be honest, uh, is the biggest time sucker when it comes to painting, in my opinion, especially for portraits. Like Portraits go by pretty fast, I can do them pretty quickly people tell me I'm pretty fast I don't know is this for 15 minutes would you say this is like a lot done a little done like medium done I don't know actually you know the more I think about it the more I'm like hey you know this isn't too bad for 15 minutes I have like uh I was gonna say a clear light source but I don't know if that's the case I have to actually let me look at the finished thing you know yeah it's not bad there's there's some suggestion of maybe a light source, maybe from slightly above, I would say, but mm, I wasn't too worried about being clean. I'm never too worried about being clean in my 15 minutes. I just wanted to make sure that the features were not horrifically um, out of whack. 
and that's kind of <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, I was considering, and I, I always say, I always go back to this, and I'm like, maybe if I made my sketches cleaner, then it would shorten the amount of time that I put into my work, because that's something I worry about as someone who like freelances and uh, has to worry about time um, a lot when it comes to art. So I'm like, how can I make my process go by faster without sacrificing quality or whatever? Um, and so I was like, maybe if I sketched things out and did it a bit cleaner and um, made more decisions right away as opposed to in the middle of a painting, then that would go by faster. So I don't know if that's really natural for me to do. Um, one thing I will be trying to do is like doing more thumbnails and stuff like that for actual full illustrations. Um, I have some ideas for ones that I'd like to do in the future, some quick concepts. Uh, but maybe I'll try thumbnailing those out because I've heard that's a good thing to do and I never do it. I'm not a planner. Um, actually, maybe, okay, I'm kind of a planner. I'm like a procrastinator planner. I plan things out and then I like, I'm like, okay, I'll do that plan like later, but for now I'm just gonna go off the cuff. So <laughs> that's kind of what this video is. That's me talking and uh, I don't know. I feel very rambly right now. I don't know if, if my panicked state shows in my brush strokes, because I guess you can see them all now, um, being that it is in live real time. But yeah. I kind of wanted to go for like a classic portrait. I guess she's like, I would say maybe like Regency era in hindsight, but I always kind of like that different stuff, different timeline. I have a habit of like going for the like Rococo, like half up, half down hair, um, but like without, it's, I guess it's not, I guess it could be like Regency, they, they did that then, but, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was gonna, if, if you're confused about the thing on her neck, it was gonna be a nice little neck ribbon, you know, I had so many ideas, I was thinking of giving her a hat, <laughs> the hat didn't happen, I'm looking at the timer like, damn it. Maybe if there was a half hour one, if there was a half hour drawing one, I think I could do like pretty damn good. I, I think like that would be good because I can do a lot in a half an hour. Um, an hour, definitely an hour is pff, done, finished, rendered, beautiful. Pff, I could like throw some noise over that, give it some texture, do some overlays, have some nice blur in the background, like not worrying about everything, but 15 minutes, that's hard. Like I am definitely curious though. I'm gonna, after I post this video, or after I finish editing it, I should say, um, or talking my ass off for 50, sorry, oh, I shouldn't swear in this, whatever. <laughs> after I um, post this, though, I'm going to be looking and seeing other people's challenges if they've posted it, because she has a pretty big following. I'm sure that there's a lot of people who have also been trying to do this, or been doing this, so we'll see. I'm a week late, I guess, to when she had posted it. I didn't like jump on it right away, but I've been thinking about doing it for a little, a little while, some time. <laughs> yeah. I should have, and I keep looking, I should have um, sparked up my scented candle to get me all zen and in the mood for drawing in 15 minutes and dealing with a timer that was yelling at me. But I didn't, and I'm, I did mention this in my what video was it? Uh, self care for artists video. I'm actually like super happy with how that speed paint went. Um, the one in the background of that video. But uh, as I gonna say, yeah. So I have kind of been getting into scented candles recently, and I only have one right now. But I'm gonna go out and buy some more when I have the time and the inclination. But this one is so nice. It's um, you could smell me. <laughs> you could smell me. You can hear me smelling it. Oh, don't smell me. Wouldn't that be weird? Smell a vision? No, that should be a thing. Um, but yeah, this one's birthday cake sa sen scented. Scented. Birthday cake scented. And I want to get one that's like cookie smelling. Anything kind of vanilla y is nice. Like, I like things that smell like candy. Um, especially with like um, perfume type scents, like perfumes I wear. I wear one that's, uh, what is it? It's called Pink Sugar. I forget the brand, um, but it smells exactly like candy and exactly how you think of it. But, oh, okay, I think our 15 minutes is up. Thank God, thank God.
Uh, so anyway, join me again soon, I hope, uh, and comment to let me know uh, how did I do? How did I do? Be critical. Tear me apart in the comment section. I welcome it. Go ahead. Do it. You guys are too nice to me. You're too damn nice in the comments. Be a little rude. No, don't. Just don't. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I mean, don't, feel, feel free to tell me how it is. Tell me what's messed up about this. And, uh, if you're, while you're at it, while you're telling me how I messed up, um, please do your own video. I like to see it. Can you do better than me? I challenge you. I challenge you. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys next week. Bye.